Hello everyone, thanks for tuning into today's fur video. We're going to have a look at the weather. It's 10 to 14 days for today's fur video. Day 10 will take us to the 25th of June. And we'll be able to extend up beyond that with extended affairs and ECM ensembles. Right around a couple of weeks. We'll have a look at the CFS V2 at the end of the video for the next four weeks. And uh, that's going to get us in towards the middle part of July now. So I should get on that for you. In a moment, just say that first video today was our 6 a.m. UK weather forecast, and we've also released the EC42 there for UK and Ireland as well. Gradually starting to get the content back up and running. No weekend forecast this week, hopefully, that will be back uh, next week. And I am going to try and do another Grasso update tonight as well. So, if you're interested in whether the Grasso be festival, hopefully, I'll get another update done for you this evening. Watch out on the socials for more info about that later on today uh right please like share subscribe all, all right good stuff thanks so much for doing that we have gone past uh 18.3k we're now on the way to 18.4k thank you so much for all of our new subscribers um that is incredible thank you so much right gonna start off with the century in temperature the ct is uh, now pop it pop back up to 12.1 so uh, that is two degrees below the uh, 61 to 1990 average, provisional to yesterday, to the 14th of uh, June. It's going to be hovering around that level, I think, pretty much of the weekend. So uh, it's going to be, I think, for the first half of June, a couple of degree, degrees below average. But it should start moving upwards, I think, as we go into the second half of the month. Could we get into the 14th? Well, we're going to do a little bit of CT Saturday. So, uh, this is CT page at the, at the uh, UK Met. CT, of course, the longest and oldest temperature record anywhere in the world, going all the way back to 1659. If we come down to the current year, look how warm the numbers have been. Well, January wasn't overly, overly warm, 4.7. But since then, we've had February at 7.8, exceptionally warm February. Um, we have had March at 8.1, that's really mild, 9. Uh, 0.6 for April, 14.1 for May, new uh, lo new uh, modern day uh, record for May as well. June's number will be placed here. Now, last year, we had June coming out at 17 degrees, 17.0. We won't, we won't be getting anywhere near that for uh, this June. And generally, a lot of the Junes recently have been quite warm. Although, um, actually, 2022, despite being a hot summer, um, wasn't that exceptional, 14.9. But then, of course, heat really built through July and August. We have um, 2020 and 2021, both in the 15s. Our last sort of average-type June, I think, was around 2019, just here at 14.2. Then some really warm Junes for uh, 2016, uh, 2018, 2017, round of 16, another warm June in. Um 2016 as well, 15.2 of that was quite wet. Our last sort of really quite cool June, but you say is probably a bit below average, was 2013 actually. Our last uh, cooler than average June where we came out at 13.6. 11 years ago that, and it was followed by a very hot July by the way. Um, 2012 came out 13.5, but we had 2011 at 13.7, so a run of really bad Junes there in the early part of the last decade. 15.2 for 2010. 10 wasn't too bad, but some of them deteriorating as we uh, went along. 2008 was quite a cool June as well, at 13.9. What about the daddy of hot summers, 1976? Well, that always used to stand at 17.0, but you remember last year, there was quite a bit of controversy because that um, got a, a point of a degree shaved off retrospectively by the Met and went down to 16.9 so that meant that last June came out as the hottest on CT record at 17 degrees except if you go further back into the uh, 1800s where there was actually uh, a June I think 1833 maybe a June that came out in the uh, 18s um, right, but what about cool June? Because we don't get anywhere near, like, a record-breaking warm month this month, um, <laughs> somewhat surprisingly. So our coolest Junes are actually tied. And uh, we've got uh, 1972 at 11.8. We also have the same number, I believe, if we go right way back to 1916. Again, we find 11.8 there. Uh, in 1916, and also 1909. So three Junes tied at 11.8 there. 1909, 1916, and the more recent one is 1972. 
absolutely atrocious <laughs> tunes of those must have been. But there is actually one that's even cooler than that with a CT index. And we have to go right way back virtually to the very start of it, can you believe? We go all the way back to 1675. There it is, uh, just there where we actually have a June CT of 11.5 in 1675. And that is the coolest year within the entire CT index. We won't be anywhere near that. Um, or in the 11s for this June. We're already starting to move into the 12s. We're going to see that increasing. I think probably going to have a 13 Celsius CT finish. But it, it could come out a little bit below average. It will depend on the last week of the month, I think, how warm that last week of the month gets. And by the way, we could well see June coming out cooler than uh, the May before. And that doesn't happen very often as well because June is normally, uh, you know, another warming month in the first half of the year. So typically June will be more warmer than the May uh, before it. So it is possible, maybe touch and go, but it is possible that this June might come out. If it comes out in the 13s, it will be cooler than uh, the May that preceded it. So a lot to keep an eye on in terms of the numbers for this June. And uh, obviously, we will be keeping you posted as we uh, go along. Remember, the last time we had a um, uh, 13 Celsius CT finish for June, it was actually 2015 at 13.9. That might be the sort of area we aimed up at, but we'll have to wait and see. We'll keep you updated. <coughs> So, sorry everyone. Well, these are the GFS upper air temperature precipitation ensembles for next couple of weeks. Rugby, no longer at Norwich again. Today, uh, the red line is a 30 year upper air temperature average for Norwich. Starting off a bit below average at the moment, staying quite cool through the rest of the weekend. Gradually, there's an increase in those upper air temperatures going on through next week. So, by sort of next weekend, we're probably close to or a little bit above average. And then we're going to the last week of June, which is this period just here. We do see a lot a scatter then so we've got the cooler on some members down here but we have got hotter on some members up here and note the thick green line which is bgfs operational big like operational run that once again becomes a, a, a hot outlier as we go into the same range this is all covered in the glass stove period of course so i'm sure we've got lots of glass stove goers watching uh this with great interest hello to all of you um though uh yes we see that the green line becomes a hot outlier the GFS operations are churning out some quite hot outlier runs at the moment, but, you know, it's a long way off, and we're still going to wait and see how things work out. The overall trend could actually be a little bit on the cooler side, if anything, with the GFS ensembles. Precipitation-wise, so just further precipitation bites to come, really. This uh, next week looking quite unsettled. There will be dry periods, especially around sort of 19th, uh, 20th of June, around that period, but for that... It's quite wet after it. It also looks quite wet as well. I'm um, heading to the final week of June. Well, you know, further precipitation to come. It doesn't look like it's settling down for a prolonged or sustained period on that ensemble graph. Temperature anomalies from the 15th, 21st from the 15th to the 23rd of June, can be out just a little bit below average, not as much of a deviation as we have been seeing through the first half of the month. And precipitation lines from 15th to 23rd of June, near north, plus still a little bit wetter through central parts of England, driving average to the north and west of Scotland. Latest wind from that from Earth, NorthSchool.net, shows that low pressure is well and truly controlled weather today, sitting right over top of the country. And uh, again, we're bringing in those Atlantic winds. OK, let's start going through chart data. Every sample H UK make Euro run. Looking big night on Tuesday. Trough of low pressure over the west of Europe, including the UK. Looks rather showery. And another trough dropping in from the north on Wednesday. We'll just keep the cool and unsettled conditions going. Into the second half of next week, a slight little transit ridge building into the south. That should bring something a little bit drier, slightly warmer there. But meanwhile, out of Atlantic, more low pressure is gathering. And that low pressure starts heading in as we go into next weekend, heralding what could well be another pretty unsettled weekend. Next weekend, Icon again shows that we're under a trough on Tuesday with a uh, showery burst. And then high pressure reaching in from the southwest through Wednesday and Thursday, quite a bit of dry weather and relatively warm as well. And then we get on in towards next weekend and a lower pressure after slight transit ridge ahead of it starts moving in from off the Atlantic. That could bring us, yes, more wet and windy weather into next weekend. The KMA is back fully functional. Um, so, uh, again, looking rather showery through the uh, early part of next week, but a slight transient ridge building 
to be the second half of next week, heading in towards next weekend. Low pressure takes over again, heralding what could be another pretty unsettled weekend next weekend. I bet it's the last week of June, your source high starts to make a bit of a move, turn things drier and warmer as well under that area of high pressure, settling things down through the final week of month. Not necessarily overly warm, not bringing much air up from the south with that. I don't think could actually be quite a cool ridge, but um, nevertheless, it is setting things down there through the last week of June. Right, let's go on to the GFS then. Let's have a GFS midnight run. He's looking again a trough of low pressure to our south and east on Tuesday, high pressure ridges in the Atlantic on Wednesday. Through Thursday and Friday, pressure weakens as lower pressure heads in from the Atlantic next weekend, looking quite showery. Uh, or unsettled with showers, long spells, rain. And then we move up towards day 10, and high pressure starts building up from the southwest. So into the last week of June, all changed, turning much drier and much warmer. And this big area of high pressure oh, once again. And that high pressure sticks around there into the uh, final weekend of June. This is covering Glastow period, of course. Some very hot air starting to surge to our south with this uh, high pressure. So we've got plus 20 cells ice firm up to Normandy. And we've got plus 25 cells ice firm moving in towards the Bay of Biscay. That's something that I have seen quite often through the last few summers. Not nece necessarily saying that's going to get up to us. But, again, it's something that I have seen through uh, previous summers recently. So, a bit of a hint of a heat spike there, perhaps, into the final week of June. As it is, actually, the ridge keeps heat at bay. Ridge uh, moves out to west. And we pull in this north easy flow. Oh, that sends a cooler air down from the north. And this very hot plume of air starts to retreat southwards a little bit. Quite an interesting GFS from over there. Let's have a 6Z. He's looking by comparison. Again, rather showering and a bit cool on Tuesday. And then high pressure ridging in from the Atlantic through Wednesday, then lower pressures taking over through Thursday and Friday, an unsettled pattern with showers and long spells of rain. Heading up towards days 9 and 10, again, we get this ridge building up from the Azores High, so uh, that turns things drier and warmer as we go through the final week of uh, June. But unlike the midnight run, the 6 air then drops into the trough from it all. So that cools things down and turns things rather unsettled there um, by Friday the 28th of June with showers, long spells, rain and significant cooler temperatures as well. Once that trough gets out of way, though, the ridge re-establishes. So that's the kind of pattern that we can see in, like, the classic sun. So this gets us to the 1st of July, by the way, as far as we go for GFS today. And uh, when you get these big ridges all the way from the Azores right up to Scandinavia, if they lock in, um, you know, you get uh, memories like 2018, for example. July 2018 saw a lot of that with high pressure ridging from the Azores up to Scandinavia. Not necessarily, necessarily saying we'll get the same result this time, but again, um, you know, that is a little bit of a classic summer chart there. If you enjoyed the video, please do like, share and subscribe. And show everyone for doing that. Drop a comment. Let us know what you think about this and all of our videos and content. And don't forget to tell your friends about Gals and Weathers. We thank you so much everyone for doing that. We have gone past 18.3k. Thank you so much to all of our new subscribers. I think many of them are subscribing for Glass and Free updates. So hopefully you'll stick around after the Glass and updates and find some interesting content on the channel. Um, but thank you so much to all of our subscribers. And we're on the way to 18.4k now. So please give us a sub. And thank you so much for doing that. Right, GM. Again, low pressure to the northwest of Europe. Remember, showering conditions to come. And um, then high pressure building in south with low pressure to the north through the middle part of next week. Unsettled next week. Kevin, next low pressure pushing through Friday through Saturday. That's been wet and windy weather in with it. And then high pressure starts building up from the southwest around day 9 and 10, turning things drier and warmer then. And they've got the ECM looking like this. Again, rather cool and showery on Tuesday. High pressure then establishing from the southwest through Wednesday and Thursday, mainly dry and reasonably warm at that point. But by next weekend, the lower pressure starting to break through once again. We're going to turn to more showery conditions. Up oh, Today, 10, high pressure building up in the southwest, turning drier and warmer in the south, but could be still a little bit unsettled in the north. The east is a little bit slower building up that as well as high compared to like the GFS in particular. This is a precipitation forecast based on that uh, East Shem Road, which is my Further showers on the first rain to come today and into tomorrow as well. There'll probably fewer showers tomorrow. 
compared to today. Uh, but we go on into next week. So, not as shower as it has been, but some wet weather. Especially later on in the week in the south. That could be like thundery weather in the south and southeast later next week. And then into next weekend, then we start bringing shower editions from off the Atlantic. By the time we get to day 10, uh, it's raining dry, but some showery bursts still for northwest Scotland and Northern Ireland. These are the options on the table in the ECM ensembles today uh, for day 10. I'm saying it, Met Office gets us to the 25th of June. Oops, what, oops uh, my lot went wonky. Um, the 40 members of the ECM ensembles with all low pressure to the north, high pressure to the south. That brings the driest weather into the south, more unsettled in the north, and winds are coming in from off the Atlantic. We've got 11 with low pressure in from the Atlantic and a flat westerly flow. We've got 10 with low pressure towards Scandinavian Denmark, high pressure down towards the southwest. Winds coming in from more westerly direction with that. We've got 9 though, with high pressure building strongly through the country. That will be much drier and warmer. And 7 again with high pressure over to the east country, rain dry and uh, warm with that. Oh, really in between, in between, but I think the trend is there to start building up some higher pressure by the 25th of uh, June. And then to each time, these are the options that we've got. Gets us to the 30th of June, last day of the month. 21 members of the ECM ensembles with a ridge in the Atlantic, a trough over Scandinavia. So, could be reasonably dry, but could be a bit on the cool side with that. Winds coming in from the northwest. They've got 21 with high pressure to the east and out to west. Some lower pressure is through here. And then we've got nine with some sort of upper level trough over the UK and Ireland. That's probably going to be the most showery uh, of the options. Chef SB2 finally, and then we're done. These are 500 millibar high tons. Break down into wheat peers. The first wheat peer takes from 15. 21st of June, mean next week looks quite unsettled with a trough of low pressure through the west of Europe, so rather cool and unsettled. Week two is going to be the 22nd, 28th of June, high pressure is away to the east, low pressure is out to the west, that brings the wind up from more of a southerly, southwesterly direction. No, probably still a bit on the mixed side, but should be somewhat warmer. I wouldn't get overly excited. Uh, week 3 will be the 29th of June to the 5th of July. A trough then is over the UK and Ireland with showers of above rain. And then finally, week 4 will be the 6th to the 12th of July. No pressure up towards Iceland. And we bring the wind in off the Atlantic. All looking rather mixed, I have to say. There will be CFS today for the next four weeks. But we shall see how it all plays out. Okay, we're done. If you enjoyed the video, please can like, share and subscribe. And show you everyone for doing that. Why not drop a comment let us know what you think about this and all of our videos and content. And uh, don't forget to tell your friends about Gals Web is get them to subscribe to thank you so much everyone for doing that. Right, so I'm hoping to do another grass update this evening. Tomorrow we have six MUK weather forecast. Gonna try and get the autumn updates underway tomorrow. So watch out for that. There won't be a live stream. I'm not able to sit here for an hour, you know, with a fractured ankle, unfortunately, at the moment. So we'll just do a 10 to 14 day video if that's all right tomorrow afternoon, if that's right with everyone. Uh, you enjoy the rest of your Saturday. Uh, watch out for Glasgow update later, hopefully. And for this one, that's all for now. And thanks for watching.